your future will open up in a big way. If you don't stand first in the school, you really can look around, what can I do with my life? <laughs> Form teams of five people, all of them give tuitions in each subject for themselves. People are approaching every aspect of life like this. Exam means they are having runs. I, I know this very well because my brother was running a pharmacy, uh, you know, in my shop. And examination means everybody comes and comes anti-diarial medicine and go to the exam because otherwise the they'll shit <laughs> in the examination hall. <laughs> Why is… and the same thing happens to them if they're going for a job, the same thing happens to them if they're getting married, the same thing <laughs> happens to them <laughs> They just get scared of everything <laughs> That is because unprepared, isn't it? The only reason you're nervous about something… I'm just… I was just talking to a few people around me, Last three times we hired a helicopter here, the three different pilots. I'm just looking at them, they're so horribly nervous. But in three thousand hours of flying, I'm just hundred hour pilot. I… with great joy I fly without <laughs> an element of anything. But to a point by when my… Instructor in United States was uh, interviewed by one of our people. What do you think about Sadhguru? Has he been a good student for you and all that stuff <laughs> One thing he said was, my only concern about him is, he doesn't seem to be afraid of death <laughs> They asked, what do you mean by that? Said, uh, even if we turn off the engine, he's smiling and doing what he has to do. This is one of the big things in a helicopter is auto-rotation. That is, you turn off the engine and come down without the engine and land, preparing for an emergency always. To make you understand what it involves is, in the training craft that we pl fly, if the engine goes off, for you to realize, see, realization takes some time, you're flying and flying, if the engine fails, for you to know the engine has failed to register, it may take two, three seconds. Because the rotor is still making noise, only a certain level of vibration is gone and the meters fall, of course. But if you don't observe the meters and if you're talking to somebody and you miss the vibration, you don't even know it's failed, but it gives you only a maximum of seven seconds. Seven seconds is all you have to do three important maneuvers. If you don't do those three important maneuvers in those seven seconds, you are as good as a dead man, you can enjoy the last flight <laughs> So… so when you are flying without warning, one of the trainings is they turn off the engine. So I just do what I have to do and I get very excited when the engine fails <laughs> And I… I did over hundred landings like that. So he said, I'm really scared for him because he has no fear. I said, this was my father's problem also, not just yours <laughs> My father used to knock his head and say, this boy has no fear in his heart, what will happen to him? I never understood why. Why is fear a qualification? Why is fear a qualification? Awareness is a qualification, alertness is a qualification, knowledge is a qualification. Why is fear a qualification? So if you're shit scared of your exam, you're going to do well, is it? You shit scared of going for an interview, you're supposed to do well, is it? You shit scared of getting married, you're supposed to do well <laughs> I see people approaching everything like this. What is the point? So this is because somebody thinks board exam, what will happen in my future? Your future will open up in a big way if you don't stand first in the school because then there'll be many opportunities. If you come… if you get ninety-nine percent, you'll end up in a medical college or if you get ninety percent, you'll end up in an engineering college. 
If you get sixty-five percent, your life opens up. You really can look around, what can I do with my life? <laughs> Now all the teachers are suffering, Sadhguru is destroying, <laughs> Sadhguru is destroying the whole school. <laughs> Those of you who are going for twelfth standard examination and tenth standard examination, I want you, whether the teachers do it or not, forget about that. I want the students to complete your syllabi and be ready for the exam by the end of October. Okay? By the end of October, you must be able to write your exam comfortably. If you're a little shit scared, be shit scared in October. <laughs> we'll give you one more in November. You'll handle it little easy, without a tablet you can go. <laughs> December we'll do two more examinations, do it. January you just play, February you just look around a little bit in the book. Last year of school, Enjoy yourself. When the examination comes in March, you just go there and already you've done this five times. So by December, you must be bored writing the same exam five times. So you're ready for the bored exam <laughs> Twelfth standard, tenth standard form teams of five people. They must learn together. Make the teams in such a way people who are good in different subjects are together. All of them give tuitions in each subject for themselves and the teachers help them. See, learning for any human being, when you learn something new, when you realize something that you did not know, does it give you joy or pain? It should give you joy, isn't it? It's natural for human intellect. If you grasp something that you did not know, it makes you joyful. Why is it being approached so painfully? Board exam, board exam, if you know, will you write it wrong? No, only if you're just trying to remember for the exam, you could write it wrong. Trying to remember for the examination means you are a bloody cheat, you understand? You just want to remember, fool people for a day and say, I am past and then you don't know anything. You have learned deception. Don't start your life with deception, it's not good. That's not a good foundation for your life. Just somehow getting hundred marks, just because for one day you remembered something and vomited it on the news… on the paper, is this not deception? Just defeating the purpose of education, isn't it? We know something, that's why we must move to the next class. Not because we somehow tricked the examination… examiner, so we move to the next class. What does it mean in our life? It doesn't mean anything. Do not start your life on deception. It doesn't matter who thinks what about you. The important thing is you maintain your fundamental integrity in your life. This is very important for a human being, believe me. This is not about deceiving somebody. This is not about being better than somebody. This is I'm here, I'll make the best use of my time when I'm here. I'll do my best. That's all. It doesn't matter somebody approves it or disapproves it. And no two human beings have come alike. Somebody may be a backbencher in the high school, but he may be frontbencher in life. So that is not the deciding factor. At every place in our life, from school to college to profession, let's not keep on thinking and having joy that somebody is behind us or somebody is below us. Why should you enjoy? somebody else's failure. If you enjoy your first rank, that's all it means, isn't it? Yes or no? You are enjoying somebody's failure, that is sickness. You must enjoy what you know. You must enjoy your exploration. You enjoy your fulfillment of longing to know. This is what you should enjoy, not being one upon somebody else. <laughs>